Our effort was there, and I can live with a loss when our effort is there. I can't live with a loss when there's no effort. Fresh off the All-Star break, the Boston Celtics were looking to pick up where they left off and continue their winning streak against the Brooklyn Nets. And for the first time in 18 games, the Celtics had Marcus Smart back from injury. Now this game was back and forth the entire contest and the Celtics were able to keep it tight for all three quarters. But down the stretch, the Nets started to separate themselves. And while the Seas tried to make it tough on Kyrie Irving, he went off for 40 points in the Nets 121 to 109 victory. And even though the Celtics didn't get the win, Smart made an impact in this game, dropping 19 points in his return. It felt good to be back out there with those guys. Um, you know, uh, obviously first game back, you know, a little jitters. Um, but it's like riding a bike, you know, I come back and, and just do what I do, you know, try to help my team win games. You know, obviously we would love to have this one. Uh, we were right there. You know, we played a really good team. Got some things we need to clean up, but, uh, you know, it's very promising. I'm glad the way we played. I'm glad of the effort. The shots fell for them tonight. Shots fell for us here and there. We got to finish the game out. But like I said, I'm proud of the way we played tonight. Great to have him back out on the floor. I mean, that five minute stint sucks. I just like it's it it is what it is there there's only so many ways to manage that to have any rhythm at all if you want him to be able to end the game and use his versatility defensively but I know he'll be excited when that 20 minute deal is over I thought he looked good I thought he did a lot of good things and, and he'll only get better as he gets more used to game action happy for him happy to see him back healthy obviously we're a better team you know when everyone's there and healthy and stuff like that and, you know, his presence on both ends. It's no secret. Um, you know, so I was happy to have him back. And um, you know, happy to just stand back out there and doing what he loved to do. Tatum also said post game that it's the NBA, so they can't get too high or too low. They have to take the lessons from each game and apply it to the next. And that's what they intend to do on Sunday when they face off against the Houston Rockets.